The year was 2004, a time of great anticipation and scientific fervor. A wave of excitement rippled through the global scientific community, as researchers and enthusiasts alike held their breath. The Spirit Rover, a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance, touched down on the surface of Mars, igniting imaginations worldwide. Its mission was clear, to explore the unknown and uncover the secrets held by our celestial neighbor Mars. The landing site, Gusev Crater, was carefully chosen for its intriguing geological features. Scientists believed it might have once held a vast lake, making it a prime location to search for signs of past life and water. Spirit was ready to embark on its grand adventure, its robotic heart beating with the promise of discovery and exploration. The rover, a marvel of engineering, was equipped with a suite of scientific instruments designed to probe the mysteries of Mars. Cameras captured breathtaking images of the Martian landscape, revealing its stark beauty and alien terrain. Spectrometers analyzed the composition of rocks and soil, providing invaluable data about the planet's history and environment. Spirit was our emissary to a new world, its arrival marking a pivotal moment in our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. The mission promised to be groundbreaking, a testament to the power of human curiosity and our relentless pursuit of knowledge and discovery. The Red Planet awaited and Spirit was ready to answer its call, venturing into the unknown with courage and determination. Mars, known for its harsh and unforgiving environment, presented Spirit with challenges from the outset. The thin atmosphere, extreme temperatures and unpredictable dust storms tested the rover's resilience. Yet Spirit persevered, its spirit unbroken. One of the first hurdles came in the form of a communication blackout. For several agonizing days the team back on Earth anxiously awaited a signal from their intrepid explorer. The tension was palpable as every passing moment felt like an eternity. Then, just when hope seemed to dwindle, a faint signal broke through the void. Spirit had survived the communication blackout, its systems intact. A collective sigh of relief swept across mission control as the team erupted in celebration. The rover had proven its mettle demonstrating an unyielding spirit that would become its hallmark. This early triumph underscored the tenacity of both the rover and the dedicated team supporting it from millions of miles away. The Martian adventure had just begun. Spirit's primary mission was slated to last just 90 Martian days. However, the little rover consistently exceeded expectations. It explored craters, traversed plains, and even climbed mountains. One of its most remarkable feats was the ascent of Husband Hill, a peak that soared 270 feet above the surrounding plains. This climb was not for the faint of heart. The Martian terrain was treacherous, littered with rocks and steep slopes. Yet, Spirit persevered, its wheels churning against the red dust. The climb took months of careful planning and execution. The team back on Earth meticulously plotted each movement, analyzing images and data sent back by the rover. Every successful maneuver was a testament to their dedication and the rover's remarkable resilience. The view from the summit was breathtaking. Spirit had conquered Husband Hill, standing tall as a testament to the indomitable human spirit and the power of exploration. As Spirit continued its explorations, it encountered a minor setback. A short circuit threatened to impede its progress. Engineers back on Earth worked tirelessly to diagnose the problem. They devised innovative solutions, remotely reprogramming the rover to overcome the short circuit. Their efforts paid off. Spirit was back in action, its systems humming with renewed purpose. The incident served as a reminder of the challenges of operating a complex machine millions of miles away. Yet it also highlighted the ingenuity and determination of the team behind Spirit. They refused to give up on their intrepid explorer, finding ways to overcome every obstacle. The short circuit, rather than hindering spirit, only seemed to strengthen its resolve. It continued its mission with unwavering determination, its wheels carving a path through the Martian landscape. The adventure it seemed, was far from over. At a location dubbed Paso Robles, spirit stumbled upon a groundbreaking discovery that would change our understanding of Mars. The rover's instruments detected evidence of guthite, a mineral that forms only in the presence of water, indicating that Mars once had liquid water. This finding sent ripples of excitement through the scientific community, sparking new theories and discussions. It provided compelling evidence that liquid water, a key ingredient for life as we know it, once existed on Mars. This discovery suggested that water once flowed on the surface of Mars, carving out valleys and riverbeds. 
the discovery was a major breakthrough in our understanding of the red planet's history and its potential to support life. It fueled speculation about the possibility of past life on Mars, and invigorated the search for signs of ancient organisms, driving new missions and research. Spirit, once again, had surpassed all expectations, proving to be an invaluable asset in Martian exploration. It had not only explored the Martian surface, but had also peered into its past, uncovering secrets that had been hidden for billions of years, revealing a dynamic and watery history. The rover's findings were rewriting textbooks and inspiring a new generation of scientists to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos, encouraging them to dream big. The journey of exploration had yielded a treasure trove of knowledge, enriching our understanding of the universe. As Spirit ventured further into its mission, it faced a new challenge, dust accumulation on its solar panels. This dust was not just a minor inconvenience, it was a significant obstacle that threatened the very survival of the mission. The Martian atmosphere is known for its fine dust particles which can coat surfaces and reduce the efficiency of solar panels. These particles are so fine that they can easily cling to any surface creating a persistent layer of dust. This posed a significant threat to Spirit's power supply, which was essential for its operations. Without sufficient power, the rover would be unable to continue its scientific explorations and send valuable data back to Earth. The rover relied on sunlight to recharge its batteries and the dust was acting like a blanket, blocking the life-giving rays. This blanket of dust was slowly draining the rover's energy reserves. However, just when it seemed like dust might curtail Spirit's explorations, a stroke of luck intervened. Nature had a surprise in store for the resilient rover. A Martian dust devil, a whirlwind of swirling dust swept across the rover. These dust devils are common on Mars and can be both a nuisance and a blessing. To the astonishment of the mission team, instead of further coating Spirit in dust, the Dust Devil acted like a giant vacuum cleaner. It was an unexpected twist that no one had anticipated. It lifted the accumulated dust from the solar panels, giving Spirit a new lease on life. The solar panels were once again able to capture the sunlight needed to power the rover. This serendipitous event allowed the rover to continue its mission, its solar panels once again soaking up the Martian sunshine. The mission was back on track, thanks to this natural cleaning event, it was a testament to the unpredictable nature of exploration and the importance of perseverance. The Spirit Rover's journey was far from over, and it continued to explore the Martian surface with renewed energy and determination.